Okay, so what we'll briefly go over here are quick measures. Okay, so what the Power BI team have done of uh, recent times is they've tried to speed up the creation of um, DAX measures um, and they've introduced this quick measures. And what it enables you to do is through point and click, it enables you to create just measures like we have created here. Before I jump into it, I do want to highlight and I do want to I almost ask you, do you think that anything that we have created is actually that hard? In my personal opinion, opinion it is not. And um, it is so doable to just do it like this, uh, to do do it the way we have done it, by, by utilizing the techniques that we have used, okay? Now, I personally do not use quick measures that much, but I do get asked about them. So that's why I'm sort of just going over it here. And I'm going to tell you the pros and I'm going to tell you the cons, okay? What it does enable you to do is it does enable you to quite quickly explore a lot of different um, formulas and formula combinations right so you know you can do some you know some of the calculations we've already done like running total you can already you can do some time intelligence some some simple filters some aggregates per a category but a lot of these things like honestly we have already done and you could do very very easily by combining things with calculate and using some table functions and just having having a um a, a good understanding of how some of those core functions actually work okay so there, look but there are some benefits okay so for example say we wanted to do like a year to do year to year to date total calculation okay I could just click on that and then say my base value here basically that's my measure that i want to calculate so let's just say sales i'll grab sales and put it in there and then it's asking for the date as well so i'm just going to go and grab the date column and i can drag it in there so there's it's point and point and drag so you know click and drag so it's it's very very easy and then i can push okay um and then the measure is gonna it's actually landed in my customers table which is not not that good because um, I was clicked in there before I did it, so I can easily change it. Home table, I'm going to put it inside my key measures here. Okay, now, a few things I don't like. First of all, this is way more complicated than it needs to be. You don't even need half this stuff. You don't need you don't need an if statement. You don't need an is filter statement. You don't need an error statement. You know if you you can you and you, this is using total um, YTD when I like to use it inside of calculate as dates YTD. That's the function that I like to use. You don't need this dot date here. So there's all these things that they've added, which I guess they've added because you know there's all uh, they're, they're trying to um, uh, cover every sort of scenario that a formula like this might be used in, but it's overkill in my view, like for something that could be so simple, like how we have this here, dates, you know, dates month to date, sales month to date, you know, similar sort of technique. You know, we could just change that to year to date if we really wanted to by putting a Y in there. So that's what, you know, that, I guess that's one reason why I don't like quick measures. The other reason is um, it's no good jumping into a measure and getting a calculated result without actually understanding what the formula is doing. So I would just hesitate to ever say, just go and use a quick measure and um, drag it in. And then, you know, you could automatically believe uh, that it's correct or, or have the confidence that, you know, what you're actually calculating is correct. Because you don't understand, you, you, it's highly likely you don't understand what the formula is actually doing. And that's half the battle with DAX is that, um, you know, you can get results with DAX formulas in a particular context, but then have um, no idea why you're getting a particular result. Um, and, and it might be wrong, for example. And so this can happen very, very easily with quick measures, okay? Um, you know, you th there's just no moving away from having a, a thorough understanding of all of the things we've discussed in this course. You just have to have that understanding. And then once you can implement these things in a relative, you know, you can start off with some relatively simple formulas, you know, you can branch out into more advanced ones without having to utilize quick measures too much. Okay. So, you know, there's, there's, look, there's, there's other examples you can do. You could do, you use simple filters, um, like we've done with user utilizing the filter function, um, et cetera, and mathematical operations, some text ones as well, con con concatenating lists, but all of these can be done Dax. I guess that's what I, what I really, really want to highlight here. I mean, um, I, I don't want to go into too many other, um, examples to be honest, because I just, I, you know, 
I don't want you to use quick measures to 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 to, to say to say it truthfully. I want you to really thoroughly understand what is happening with tax formulas, and then once you do, you'll realize well, I can, you can just write these things out quicker than you can point and click. Like that's honestly what it what it comes to. And what you'll find with um, formula patterns as well is you can copy and paste, and there's nothing wrong with that. Just like we did in the the example earlier where we we just copied our formula pattern from cumulative sales put it into cumulative sales last year and then um I just changed one element within it and that, that's absolutely fine that's that's a much better way in my opinion to to run these sort of calculations or to or to build out more of these calculations very very quickly okay so i've made you aware that that was um that was my main point behind this video told you a few of the pros and cons so hopefully you can weigh it up for yourself um, and maybe even have a play play around with that yourself. Um, you know, it's well worth it. You know, it's very easy to do. You're not going to break anything. So, so definitely give that a go. Okay, we're going to round off this entire course um, with you know one more technical video uh, that covers you know like where where how advanced can you get? Like what sort of advanced insights can you show? And I'm going to go through a really good example to highlight it. And then hopefully I can um, you know expand your expand your mind with it you know in terms of what's possible okay let's move into that one